Here's how to get started with Switcher Studio. Uh, first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a good, <laughs> stable Wi-Fi connection and that you have several uh, devices that are all connected on the same network. It won't work without that. On your iPad, it's easier with the bigger screen to use that as the switcher. So once you're signed in, um, you get started here. And for your sound, we you can use an iRig or we like this Focusrite iTrack solo it lets us uh, go from the soundboard through an aux out uh, right here it gives us a control knob and we have a lightning connection uh, so plug that into the ipad and now uh, sound is only coming from that you'll notice that because we only have one input uh, it's only coming on one side we can fix that go to the audio settings hit this little wheel here and uh, do right to mono and now you'll notice in my monitor that it's a stereo signal uh, it's picking me up the condenser mics on the other end of the the building or you're hearing my voice uh, and so that's that's working now to get the that's that's audio right there and the little wheel and that lets you change that and make it a stereo setting i found that you want it in the yellow for live streaming um, that gives you the strongest signal if it's in the red you can adjust uh, your level here when you go to set up your cameras uh, you click this little icon down here and um, some devices will automatically show up so this is the cheapest option to connect if you have to purchase devices this is an ipod touch uh, you don't have to log in just go to share this device and share this camera and you'll notice at the bottom it gives you a url so uh, when i turned that on it showed up here if it didn't show up right here then i could look at this url and add it that way but if it shows up you just click that and you'll see that it automatically connects and now whatever shows up here also shows up right there as camera two and it will tell you if i select it right here if i go live with it um you'll see uh it gives me a preview there uh if i go live oops there live okay now it switches to active on this screen and anything that i'm looking at i can put this anywhere in the building uh, now if you get too far away from this the wi-fi signal uh, this will turn yellow and it'll tell you that it's not getting a strong enough signal you need to move it closer uh, in the room all right let me add a second device uh, Okay, so to add device again, go to Switcher Studio. Uh, remember, you just click share this device, share this camera, and there's the URL. That one also showed up, but let me show you uh, what you would do if it didn't show up there. You would click uh, add source, connect by URL, and you can see uh, the the same number that's here is right there. If I click on that, it will also add it. You want to give it permission uh, to take over your device. Now I have them both connected here. I can place them around the room. Okay, I've got one on a tripod here. I've got one facing the church just for demonstration purposes here. Uh, so I can... Uh, if by default you'll just have these views and you can switch this is your live view you can uh, to go live you click this this button right here and uh, you can see you can connect it to a Facebook account or YouTube or if you select none it's going to record um, it will record and stream live at the same time so you can edit it later if needed uh, but you, you set that up if you if you click this uh, and log into your your Facebook uh, 
it, it will connect and all right you link your facebook account continue all right on this page you'll need to give it a title and a description that's what people will see for your live stream now this this is the part with if your video if your if your wi-fi is not strong or is not stable uh, then you definitely want to pick low quality here uh, you can check your speed by going to google and uh, clicking run speed test on any device that's on that Wi-Fi network, it will tell you. Uh, ours fluctuates. Uh, and really, that low speed, people would rather see a low quality image that they don't have to constantly pause and wait on than an HD one that constantly buffers. So use that one. If you have a really good stable broadband connection, you can go to high or even HD. Uh, but I would stick with the low so that you don't have as many distractions or disruptions. If you want to use multiple cameras, you click this button and go to uh, split screen or slots. Uh, and if you click it, one, two, it's gonna put both of them there. Uh, this gives you a preview. You can zoom in or out on, on any screen there. Uh, if you click live, then it will show up over, over here. Uh, notice in the preview, if I select one, I can I can zoom in, uh, and that will zoom in on that camera. So very useful uh, tool for uh, for live streaming on a budget. I hope this helps you get started.